Hey everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you the vintage album. I had told you about it a couple weeks ago in one of my videos um, where I had borrowed three from a friend um, named Debbie and I want to show you inside of this mermaid themed one. But before I do that, I want to show you ones that I have purchased, and excuse me, I have them down here on the floor, ones that I have purchased and um, what they look like when you first get them. Um, first, I'll show you the small one. Um, it's in pretty good shape. The clasp actually works. I don't have it hooked, but the clasp actually works. Um, the spine and the spine on a lot of them are not really that attractive and sometimes they'll have blemishes on them. I, I have to investigate on how to fix these, um, this stuff. So I don't know. It's, it's, it's something that I'm going to work on. You know, it's one of those things that we, we say, oh, I got to do that. And then you find a cutie and you buy it. And then you're kind of like, okay, <laughs> now what do I do? So anyhow, let's take a look inside. Um, this one is not totally in the best shape. But I have to tell you, to me, it's better for it to have tears and rips. Because then when you go to do your thing to it, and you're going to cover the pages, you know, with beautiful papers and embellishments, it doesn't break your heart so much because it, it needs repaired. It needs something done with it. This one's missing some of the in-between um, pages and everything. Um, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> it, it, this one, it won't break my heart to, to actually work on it. And I like this little size. As you can tell, it's smaller than the one that um, Debbie had gifted me. And this one might be a little more manageable for me, but only time will tell. So hold on here. Let me slide that one back behind me. Now this one I got the other day. Um, I liked it because it was in the landscape format. But what I did not realize on the, from the pictures on eBay, it does have some problems. So I'm going to have to figure out how to repair that. Uh, maybe what kind of glue to use and if I should put some kind of coating on it. I, I'm really afraid it's going to get snagged on something. But let's flip it over. Here's the easiest way. My camera is so low to my table. Um, that's the back. You can see where it's really been worn on this side and the back side. Not really all that attractive. And the spine is in bad shape too. Um, but the material is kind of like a velvet and I guess it, it just gets worn really bad. So let's see here if I can flip these pages without knocking my camera out. Whoop. Sorry, everybody. Um, but this has got a wooden inside and, uh, that will definitely be a place that I could put some three dimensional stuff and have a focal point. Um, but this one has some great cabinet cards in them. And the, the printing in this, I mean, it's, it's been torn. It's got some tears in it and stuff, so it won't be so bad when you go to embellish it. But um, the cards in it are great. They look like they are brand new back 1800 or whatever time it was. I was going to see if that one actually had a date on it. But, yeah, the cabinet cards in this one are fantastic. Um, of course, there are some missing. Um, some taken out of their place, but I'm telling you that card right there, there is like nothing wrong with it, um, embossed and everything. So let's keep on. I'm just going to flip through here really quick. Um, still trying not to hit my camera, <laughs> but I can't believe the cards are in such magnificent shape. I guess that one's got a tear in it. The, um, the book, what I spent on it was probably the cards are probably worth that much. Now that's a great family right there. Uh, that's a great family. Um, here's some more family ones. And you wonder, um, you wonder when, um, 
if, if this was actually, you know, somebody's family or is this something that someone put together later on? Um, that boy right there kind of looks like the same little fella. So, here we go. But, yeah. So, anyhow, so that is that one. Let me slide it out of here again without knocking the camera out. <clears throat> and without messing up my cover. I've snagged it a couple of times. I'm trying to behave. Well, this is the first one I purchased. Um, when I first saw um, Debbie's albums, she had done a, um, a Zoom kind of class two retreats ago for me. And that was one of the things that she showed us. I didn't even know there was such a thing or anything like that. Debbie's been doing this a long time. Here's kind of the ugly back. And, of course, the spine is worn. Um, this one really has problems. Um, and, again, I say that's the kind that I like. I, I want the cover to be in good shape. Don't get me wrong. But if the pages inside are torn... And what happens is they try to get the picture out of these little slits and, and or put it back in and they tear. And just rubbing my finger across there, I can tell that that paper is crumbly. See, here's one where the whole bottom piece is missing. That card was probably in there and now that piece is gone. Um, and again, though, these cabinet cards, they show some wear on them. Um, but overall, again, that doesn't really bother me. I bought it more for the, the pages. And uh, this one, I think, if we go back far enough, I think that has some pages. Come on, Elaine. I, I feel like I'm all thumbs here showing this to you. Um, I think, yeah. Here, this one has some um, a section where the pages, there's four up on a page. Um, so anyway, so that's the one that I purchased very first now let's let me show you the inside of the one that debbie gifted me first of all it does have a class that works i'm going to be honest with you i don't play with it much i'm afraid if i keep you know pulling it and, and getting it up on the little um, notch that i'm going to break it this one is pretty much the same fabric all the way around um so it's it's kind of velvety it does have some wear spots and everything but overall it's in great shape she also let's see if i can show this to you um she also added some dangles to the bottom and and when i got it in shipping from her um it actually had a she shell that was broken inside of the packing um but it they traveled overall pretty well but um she has done some really cool um, dangles and stuff on the bottom of it but I, I got to be really careful with them the other thing about it is too is I think she did these some years back so I think in some places with those dangles the um, glue is kind of turning loose and let's see if I can get this all in frame all right here we go the thing that gets me about this mermaid journal first of all or album is how long did it take her to collect all of this stuff I mean, it's amazing to me. The things that are in here, here's, this one's got a charm on the bottom of it. Um, excuse me. <coughs> but, I mean, just, I don't know, just beautiful pieces. Postcards, stickers, ribbons. Um, that is some kind of cloth letters. I mean, I can't imagine. Um, now, this is pretty cool, of course. This is one of the indented where the pictures were. And these things are all three-dimensional. The shell, slice of shell, um, that's a little metal crab, and then the, the tree branches. Um, and it doesn't take up any more room. That's the best part. It just takes up the, the depth of the page. Um, can you see? So it, it's cool to be able to put some things down inside where the cabinet cards were. Um, She's got some great papers in here, um, some great pieces of ephemera. Um, I don't know, like that looks like a postcard to me. You know, that's some kind of piece of clip art. But there again, this one is recessed. And this is a piece of glass, it looks like, that's been stamped. And um, some shells. And then the back page, she's covered up the part where the cabinet card sat in. But, I mean, just take a look at the things that she used 
And like I said, it makes you wonder just how long it took her to do this. Um, this is like a die cut of some sort. I mean, it's amazing. Um, so I, I don't know when I get ready to do one, I'll probably start with the smaller one that I showed you first, but you know, I just don't know what my theme is going to be. Um, this is giving me an I a lot of ideas that maybe I do like sea life and I do have some great cards and stuff. Um, I've always enjoyed scalloping with my husband. And so maybe, you know, some of the things that I've picked up there, I could put in here. But like this is glass slides. And so since they're recessed, these poke out a little bit, not very much, much at all. I mean, um, kind of like a patch. It's embroidered. Um, these are 3D letters, which I think are pretty cool. wonder where she got those. And then this is just a big picture, and then she embellished on it. And again, this is a brass stencil. Now, brass stencils, they used to have, you know, I used to use them a lot when I first started because you could emboss and deboss and then chalk or whatever on them. So she put the whole stencil in there. I would have never have thought about doing that ever. Um, this, I think, is actually someone's drawing. It's got their embossed um, um, logo on it, their initials or whatever. And then here's like another postcard and some other embellishments. Um, the paper on it is beautiful. And not every piece of paper in here is really, you know, like seaworthy. I mean, purple polka dots, who would have thought? But she's got it where it just matches. This is an old postcard. Um, so anyhow, so this is, this is inside of the Mermaid album, the vintage album. And I actually wonder if they're really vintage, if they're not more antique because of them having the cabinet cards. I think that was usually the late 1800s, early 1900s. So these things are actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure, antiques, um, not just vintage. And so anyhow, so this is then the back cover, the last of, last of the album. And so anyhow, I hope you enjoyed seeing inside of a true, I'm going to say an antique album, not just a vintage album. Um, and if you like what I show you, and the things that I do with you, please join me on Tuesday evenings. I put up a video at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I also do have um, a Facebook group and a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. Um, I I've opened an account on TikTok. I haven't done anything there yet. And I also have a small Etsy shop. Or you can come by to my personal page and say hello to me. Um, but anyhow, I just wanted to again show you this. Please, if you haven't, subscribed to my channel and give me that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. You know, I'm not a hardcore YouTuber where I'm always putting videos up all the time. Like I said, I do mine once a week. And um, I just would like to know that people out there are watching me. So anyhow, that's it for this. And by all means, um, please behave and stay safe out there. And I will catch you down the road. Um, please, again, behave.